Hey everybody, welcome back to Squirrel Stampede Gaming. This is episode 26. Um, I'm not sure what this will be called, but here we are back again for some more great gameplay of Minecraft. If you have not given us a squike or a squirrel live yet, or even a squamant, please join in on the fun. Today joining me, Lazy Kitty 10 k has got a very interesting cute kitty sky sky skin and Ben Ultra 21 still rocking the jetpack squirrel girl stampede or water zebra is taking the day off and we've got quite a bit of stuff to do today so here we are in front of the squirrel house you can see I've been building Ooh. oh my that is a lot of wood planks let's get a better view over here I still need to move all our stuff inside. I haven't really got there yet, probably by next time. Let's take a look at my little uh, quick spot to take a look at what we've done so far. So look how tall this uh, squirrel building is, quite prominent. Uh, ben Ultra has just changed his skin. <laughs> he decided to go with, what is that, David Hasselhoff? Oh no, that's Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is now visiting our uh, area. So there's the squirrel house getting tall. We need to put in some top arms and a head still. Let's walk inside and take a look. And we will also check out some other interesting feature builds on this area. So uh, Luke Skywalker guarding the door. Why are you not holding a lightsaber? Isn't there a skin change for the lightsaber? So here's our uh, Grand Squall room or something. I don't know, I haven't figured out the name yet. Um, interesting room here. I think we'll put up some banners and some squirrel decorations. I pillaged the, uh, uh, what do you call that? The rock saw, uh, the table rock thing from, from the stone cutter. I, I pillaged that from the village uh, because that really helped me work on these nice, uh, what do you call these floors, diorite. Uh, chisel diorite floors. Back here is where the squirrel tail will be. Haven't not got to that yet. Might be a squirrel tail fireplace. Haven't really decided yet. So the first floor is this little area here. I've got a nice open area. Might need to put in some railing. It's probably a little dangerous right now. So I'll think about that. Ah, Princess Leia is now here. This is interesting. We're, we're switching our skins on the go. So Princess Leia has now subbed in. And this would be our third floor. Need some more safety railings. I think we'll go with more cut diorite once I hunt down some more diorite. And then another floor, which has not even been finished yet. It's getting pretty sketchy up here. <laughs> pretty sketchy as we go up. Uh, hopefully I don't end my 19 uh, experience points on this because it's, it's pretty far down there now. If I fall inside, I'll be okay. If I fall outside, ouch. Oh, we could see uh, Lazy Kitty's uh, flying squirrel over there and Ben Ultra's building something over there. Looks like a giant antenna. So yeah, we've got a lot of work to do on the squirrel. Uh, the new squirrel house, it's enormous. I like it. The last few times uh, of squirrel house builds, they were pretty small now looking back. So I think this new squirrel house will really be able to do lots of things for us, especially in just, you know, being absolutely enormous. So let's run down here. That's our show and tell that. So out we go, the front, aha! Ben Ultra is now a royal guard. Wow, you guys are really cycling through skins. That's pretty scary. Uh, let's kind of walk over to what Lazy Kitty's got going. She's enhanced her squirrel flying house a little bit. Also, a quick little uh, bridge over here was constructed by Cousin Philip. Cousin Philip built this beautiful bridge. Let's check it out closer. He is not in here today, I don't think, but you never know, he may drop by. Uh, made from Philip, the Bridge of Love. And this is a pretty fancy little bridge here. I like this, made entirely of, uh, what do you call those? Half planks, or well, I always forget what they're called. Uh, but he has built a half a windmill over here. It looks kind of like a grumpy owl. Um, but it is actually a windmill, I think. It just kind of spot up, uh, sprouted out out of, no out of nowhere. I don't even remember him working on that. So there's that. And now we're under uh, Lazy Kitty's flying squirrel house. So let's kind of walk over here, see what she's working on in the build. We've got some steps up to the top. Do, 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 do. And this is her, in case you're wondering, my house is still up there. And which way? We gotta follow her. She said she built something quicker to get up there. And we've got a very, very sketchy ladder going all the way up to the top. Nosebleed! Nosebleed! Oh my! And we're up! We're up to the top! 
and that was much easier than before. So look at that, we can now, oh and she even gave us a step, we can now get to the new flying squirrel up here brought to you by Lazy Kitty 10 k Very nice, very nice, and you can see how tall my squirrel house is from this angle missing the tail and all that still lots of work to be done there this is such a great area with all these um rocks available uh down that way there is another village by the way straight back that way we have not visited it yet maybe maybe next time we will go check out that village uh oh she's got a nice patch of sheep too growing for some black wool so nicely done uh, lazy kitty 10k so um let's head on over to ben ultra's house see uh, the construction there. Actually, we might not really need... How do we get down, by the way? Where's the ladder? Is that is it right here? Okay, this is this is sketchy. This is sketchy. I hate heights. Uh, oh, oh boy. Okay, we're good. We're good. And all the way down. It's so interesting how these characters climb ladders. So, okay, so let's run to the road and we can then, I believe, Ben Ultra said he built a little road offshoot, and we can check that out. Okay, let's see here. Let's travel over here. Oh, it's already getting late. Does everyone have a bed with them so that we can uh, go sleep time soon? Oh, there we go. Let's head over to Ben Ultra's house. We'll probably uh, lodge there for the evening. He's got a nice little road here. These help out, especially as you can easily get lost in your own world. <laughs> Where shall I put my bed? Any good spots to put my bed? Just right here? He's still got a weird forge. What is he constructing up here? This is wild. Oh, a skeleton right behind you, dude. There's a skeleton right behind you. Turn around, turn around. Ah, ah, okay, Skelly. Oh, ugh, ow, I gotta put on my um, armor. I'm not wearing my armor right now and I'm already hungry. Oh man, we're already in a little bit of a situation here. Okay, got my sword out, I got my helmet on. Did you get the skeleton? Is he still there? I think he's gone. Ben Ultra must have got him. Okay, I'm gonna sneak in here. We're gonna take out. <laughs> that wasn't nice. We're gonna take a nap here. Um, is there room for my bed? Can I like put it this way? Um, I'll just sleep out here. I, I think it'll be fine. I like to sleep under the stars. All right, let's head to bed and we'll figure this out. Ah, morning time! Is that skeleton around here? I don't see him. So Ben Ultra is really up to something. He has created... I don't even know how he got the stone up there, but he's created this huge square. And uh, he's working on something, so that's pretty interesting. As he continues on his quest in his Royal Guard gear. Now's a good time for some shared pictures. We still don't have our Squirt Museum built up, but I have a few awesome uh, pictures to share with everybody today. They'll be floating pictures in the sky. Right now we will float them in the sky here in the morning. So first up, Flynn has drawn us an excellent image of Steve and Bat Pig. Bat Pig, that is a great and very clever uh, drawing. I never would have thought a pig to be Bat Pig. So thank you, Flynn, for sharing. Always a joy to see some cool art. Uh, ben, not our Ben, but a friend, fan Ben, has drawn a picture of Landry with an acorn. And this is a really cool, like, squiggly Landry. I can see this guy, like, running up a tree really fast and being really mischievous. It's a really cool squiggly drawing. I like the word squiggly. That's my best, um, best word for this drawing. It is really cute. I like this one. So thank you for sharing, Ben. Jack has shared this awesome fuzzy tail drawing of Landry. Way to go, Jack. All oh, the detail in this squirrel's tail is top notch, 10K, and really deep emotional eyes on that one. So a really, really cool squirrel there. And finally, Jacqueline has drawn us Princess Squirrel, and Princess Squirrel is really quite cute. We need a Princess Squirrel on the channel, so I gotta work on that. So. Thank you everybody for sharing these images. If you want to share some cool squirrel drawing, squirrel art, uh, Instagram usually is the best spot, Squirrel Stampede Instagram, and I think Facebook too, and I think I have a few over at Facebook I need to get ready and share. So if you have not seen your image yet, I should be getting to it soon. And there's Lazy Kitty 10 k is now an Ewok. That's something that looks like I could eat. Oh, I won't, I won't eat you. Ah, oh, Ben Ultra is right there, so he is 
up to his uh, neck on building interesting things. Well, how about we check out that cave? We got to get back to that cave, guys. Last time we barely got out. I survived by um, hiding under some dripstone and crawling out and barely making it. And now we're going to go back. We need to go back in more. We all need more um, iron. We all need um, some more things that are found in caves. So let's head that way. I've put a nice little the cave beware sign. So there's our main squirrel house and this path takes us to the cave a quick way over. All right, here we go back into the scariness of the cave. We have lit up a little bit from last time. So hopefully it will not be so menacing. I think this is right about the part where I was ambushed by pretty much everybody while everyone else went the other way. You can kind of go around, it's like a big donut right now, a big donut cave, the upper structure, and if you recall the waterfall is over here. Ah, man, that royal guard just keeps scaring me. Uh, so this is that main entrance that we saw from the very first time we entered this world. And if I recall, there's a waterfall um, uh, spot for us to get down, is that right Ben Ultra? really would like to collect some of this dripstone. My favorite thing now is to put dripstone above people's beds. It's kind of like the torture trick. And also, you know, when you sleep and you really need water, then all night water drips into your mouth. Lazy Kitty has changed her skin and she is now going in as Darth Vader. <laughs> okay, so how do we get down here? I think this waterfall did it. We lit up this cave a little more before we escaped last time. This is pretty much where... Ow! Did I hit myself on that last time too? I think I did. Uh, there's a lot of slime down here. We're still we're still dealing with a slime infestation at this region. I mean, it is kind of their home. Dripstone, you know, it's kind of their thing. I need to make some torches. I did not prepare my torches. Uh, I've got to get some torches ready to go. 28 should do for the moment. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave my gold chest plate on. I can't remember if that is better or not. So what do we got guys? Where do we go? More slime boogers, more! Yay! Here's a piece of iron. Anybody need this iron? We're like really needing iron right now. We haven't mined it too much. I see another giant slimer up there. Uh, but I think we're heading down. Lazy Kitty's go going for it right now. Now what does this sign say? Our underground cave house, made by Lazy Kitty. It's not much. Yeah, it looks like it's just a wall. Are we just going to put our beds here for the moment? Maybe, you know, respawn point there. So if we do have a horrible demise farther down, that's where we're going to end up. I could see that. And maybe we should uh, clear out some of this dripstone. It's everywhere. There's dripstone everywhere. These are big chunks. Creepers hide behind this stuff. So I love this stuff. It's really interesting, but it is very dangerous. And you can hurt yourself on it too, right? I mean, like if I were to jump on it, ow, see, yeah, ow, you can really hurt yourself. So be careful with that. All right, so where are we going? What's the next level? Is there another way down even deeper into this mine? Oh, ouch, Darth Vader. Yeah, I would have expected that from you knocking me in my, uh, so let's see here. I think we can kind of, Peek, peek her eye down here at a couple lights. Oh, we're already into deep slate territory. I didn't expect that so soon. Man, this cave is deep. Um, anybody have a bucket of water? I think I have some water, but I don't have any water in the bucket. Or right, is there a way down? Does anyone see a way down over here? I might have to run outside and grab a bucket of water real quick. This would be a great spot to go back down. So hang on, I'm gonna go get some water and we will use that as our way into the cave. Should have brought some on the way in. Okay, we are back. We do not want to talk about how I slipped and fell on some dripstone. That is not cool. Uh, oh, and I died. <laughs> I fell on some stalagmite. Where's the, where did I fall? Yeah, I was up there, it was raining outside, I got all disorganized, and the next thing you know it, I fall onto dripstone and break my leg and die. And then Ben Ultra took a few of my experience points too, so I'm back down to one, <laughs> one experience points. 
But that's okay because you know I figured we were gonna die anyway in here, so you know it happens. So let's let's head down. I just added our little waterfall here so that we can get farther down in here. Uh, Lazy Kitty and Ben Ultra have already said there's some interesting things down here, so I'm excited. I see a creeper, guys, right at the bottom. Anybody know how to figure this out? Because we're gonna get hit really fast. I see the. <laughs> Ah, uh, the villagers right behind you. Ah, I got him a couple hits. Ah! Oh. There's nowhere safe in here. There's nowhere safe. Oh. Ah, the villager. Skeletons. Okay, I got the skeleton. Ah! <laughs> ben Ultra died. Now I can take my experience points back from him. Ah! Oh! It's these slime cubes, they're so relentless. Oh, I just got hit by a creeper exploding. Um, this is just scary down here. I think I think things are calming down. I think the initial mob is calm. Oh, I got some of your stuff, buddy. Uh, oh, oh, let's get them, let's kill this stuff off first. This place is a mob magnet. Can't see anything yet. There's still skeletons everywhere. See another, more dripstone. There's a creeper right there. Okay, well now we're seeing some things. There's a creeper and a bunch of skeletons right there. Okay, let's get this creeper out of the way because it's the worst. And that skeleton. That's, uh, I think the creeper's contained in that hole. I'm just getting shot up. I'm getting shot up by these skeletons. We're going to have to go around. It's thunderstorm out there. It's a thunderstorm. This is like the worst time to go into a cave. Okay, I'm coming in from behind. I'm going to get you, creeper. Or skeleton. Oh, oh, sorry, Ben Ultra. Okay, that skeleton's done. There's arrows everywhere, explosions everywhere. Trying to give us some light. It's Lazy Kitty down here. I have to say something. I saw a diamond, she says. Well, yeah, there's some really cool stuff in there. <laughs> Take that. Oh, dear. Oh man, who is behind me now? Who is behind me? I'm, I've got like, I'm down to half a heart. I gotta go, or three hearts. I gotta, I gotta find a safe spot. If there's anywhere safe down here, this place is madness. Madness. Okay, now what do we got? I'm trying to heal up as Ben Ultra's doing some things. I'll put some more uh, light anywhere I can think of. There could, is this a geode? We could be right next to a geode. That's cool. Okay, have we cleared out everything? Diamonds? Is that diamonds? Is that what Lazy Kitty? It is! Oh, right on, we found our first spot of diamonds. If we can survive this, that is still, that is still very much up to debate. I, I would prefer just keep adding some lights everywhere I can. I'm running really low. There's some gold. Okay, I think we've got things squared away. Things got pretty scary, so we took five to kind of take a moment. Uh, I think we've all died multiple times. There's our amethyst, I can't even say it, amethyst, a giant geode we have run into. We're going to peek our head into this. This is pretty exciting to see so close. Oh, it sounds so pretty. What do we got in here? We're still being shot by skeletons, I can hear them. Um, what, it, oh, there's skeletons inside there? I didn't know that could happen. That's a first. Can you put torches down on this? Okay, there we go. So like a half a geode here is what we found. That's why there was a skeleton still in there. Do we see any crystals? We can take a couple of those and make ourselves some telescopes at some point. That's pretty neat. So we found some pretty interesting things down here, although it's super dangerous. Um, but we're kind of clearing things out too as we go. Uh, where were the diamonds? Do Can we find the diamonds? I think there they are. So who's going to grab the diamonds? I think Lazy Kitty has a um, pickaxe ready to go. Oops, sorry. So let's get closer and we will see our first diamonds. Ben Ultra's here. Let's get a light up here. Uh, Lazy Kitty, do the honors and get these diamonds out. See how many we have. One, two, what do you think? one <laughs> so we found just one so far but that's our first set uh should we put those in the chest over there to be safe right now and then uh we'll worry about them a little later as we kind of explore 
some more here. We should light this area up as much as we can and probably knock out more of this uh, dangerous dripstone. This might be good for like our underground squirrel cave complex. Uh, this would be our home base because we're now deep enough to find really interesting things. We're at negative 19. I, they say diamonds are usually closer to what? Negative 60 now, 56, 55. Um, but I've had mixed results on that. As we look around here and we build some lights. Man, it got scary in here for a second there. They were ready for us for sure. We've got a glow squid over there. Everyone see the glow squid? And uh, a lot of dripstone. Anybody have a direction you'd like to explore more before we kind of round things out for the day? Lazy Kitty says, nope. I like that geode though. Let's kind of hop up top of this geode and get a better view. Oh my goodness, this cave goes down this way into a huge area. There's a spider. We have not seen as many spiders. Um, that new moss on the walls is really tricky because it always looks like diamonds, but it isn't. That looks like diamonds, and that looks like diamonds, but it's not. Fake diamonds. Take out this spider real quick. All right. And kind of look over at this area. This is where I think a lot of the mobs are coming from. I see an Enderman over there. I see some gold here and there. So we'll definitely have to come back and with some more iron tools. Oh, I got hit by something. I gotta be careful here. Another skeleton. We've got to light this place up and clear these guys out. They're everywhere. Just using abundance of torches here. Is there a way down this way yet? A little bit, another zombie. Definitely more mobs in the caves. Definitely more. Got some good flesh out of that. That one set of diamonds was pretty unique then so far. I see some redstone. Yes, that's kind of what I was looking for so I can start working on some locator maps. I'm gonna get that redstone if I can survive this and we'll call that an episode of Calamity. Cave Calamity maybe is the name for this because it's been quite a mess. Am I out of torches? No, I can make a few more torches. Oh, there's a zombie on me! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did Ben Ultra get him? Yep, there he is, there he is! Oh, ah! Okay, okay. Here we go. We're going down. We're gonna grab some of this. Oh, I can't grab it. I need uh, some some iron, an iron pickaxe, but we will fortify this. Yeah, if I survive, I'm getting down to half a heart again, or a heart and a half. Eat something. Oh, not an Enderman. That's not the time for this. I'm gonna hide in this little lower cropping so he can't get me. I think we're about as deep as we can go today. A Ben Ultra's just standing there like, no problem, no worries. Um, but yeah, this is where we got to. We found some of the elements and minerals that we needed, especially this redstone. And we can then harvest all this and really start uh, building what we need. So thank you everyone for watching another crazy episode. Oh, there's a creeper run up! Oh!